Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking. It means a lot to you guys keep clicking. If you guys keep clicking, I'll keep making. And today, I want to talk about Nyeka from Survivor 43. It's a black woman who has committed the grave crime of being a Republican. I know. Oh, it's so bad. Everybody, everybody, calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, but the people who aren't staying calm are the people who are on Twitter calling Nyeka a coon a race traitor. I mean, some of these comments are so racist and hateful that I just it makes me wonder how these people can think that they stand for inclusion and diversity when all they do is spread hatred and vitriol to people who disagree with them, even to the slightest bit. It doesn't matter what race you are at all. They don't want to prop up black voices. They want to prop up the black voices that agree with them. Sorry, didn't mean to go off on a little rant there. But getting back to what, what I was talking about, I want to look at Nyeka's pregame content. She has a personal video as well as some interviews as well as her bio. I'm going to look at all of those and really digest who she is as a person going into this season and what I think she will do on this season. All right, first, let's look at her personalized one minute video where she tells us about who she is. <laughs> Hi, my name is Neka. I'm a pharmacist by trade from Weatherford, Texas. But originally I'm from Nigeria. That's where I was born and raised before I moved to the United States with my family about 16 years ago. Coming into this game, I'm going to have to draw from all of my life's experiences, all 42 years of them. I think that playing Survivor is about leveraging your strengths because I'm a terrible liar. I can't cheat. It's how I've raised my kids, but my smile is a huge part of who I am. It can be a tool I can use to where they do exactly what I need them to do because they trust me. And I would not be here if I was not absolutely sure that I could win. So I am here. You can get first dibs at the season 43, <laughs> so survivor title owner. So right off the bat, I, the thing that I see the most is her positive aura. You can't help but smile while she's talking. She has an element to her where it's like you can never really feel bad around her and she makes you feel better without really doing anything specifically. It's just her aura. It's just her personality, which I think is great socially. Um, she did, does admit here that her strategy will not be top tier. She's definitely pushing for a more social game, kind of be there at the right time at the right place. But then again, our past two winners have been horrible. So who knows? I mean, I guess all, nowadays, all, all you have to do is smash an hourglass and you just win the game. Um, but getting back to what I was talking about, I think she's definitely has is going to have a social pace to w win the game to me that's her, her way to win i don't think she's going to make big moves in the game and i don't think she really can win necessarily although i think she'll be a fantastic character and she just seems like like a really nice person definitely someone who will give us some good moments and i would like to see her mean side if she has one i'm curious to see what her pet peeves are but again character wise i'm loving her potential as a possible fan favorite someone who people can root for casuals and super fans the issue for me is going to lie with her as a player she doesn't seem too aggressive and in this day and age you don't have to play super aggressive but if you make like no moves or if at least if you can't lie about making moves like for example erica says she quote unquote made moves but she didn't make any moves she's trash again i i keep going back to erica because ooh, those those two wins from 41 42 still irk me to this day but nonetheless to me the biggest thing is making moves and i don't think that nyeka is out there to make moves i think she's out there to have fun and to have the experience which is fine for a character not so great for a player now let's look at what she said in an interview when asked why she would win the game. My name is Snake Jerry, and I will win Survivor because I came here with a complete mindset to be the sole survivor for season 43. Again, kind of a lack of social awareness there. Like they ask you a question and she just doesn't really answer with anything except that she came there with the mindset. Um, so kind of a meh answer there, kind of disappointing. Um, but then again, you know, she's not young and sharp. You know, she is going to be a little bit slower because she's older, but that, that's OK. I still see her, her, her potential as a character. But I do think that like slowness as far as how she doesn't just pick up social cues that easily may hurt her in the game. Through her EW bio, which to me is the most telling thing, and I'm really excited to see what she says. So. She's a pharmacist. She likes traveling, biking, and cooking, and she is joyful, hardworking, and trustworthy. I'm curious to see what her pet peeves are going to be. So her pet peeves are mediocrity and laziness. So 
to me, those are both very, one, old people thing to say, and two, very southern things to say. And it really matches who she is from her one minute interview. It seems like she's a very positive person. She always wants to strive for more, strive for happiness, and she doesn't like people who are going to bring her down, even if it's to mediocrity. Her greatest accomplishment is her family. Again, very classic, like Southern answer. Uh, you know, she, she says that her and her husband have made it through rough times and have three amazing children. Something that we would n n never know from, from looking at her is how resilient and tough she is. So she considers herself to be determined and tough from her life experiences, which to me is a good thing. If, if you're going to have a team mom archetype on the show you want her to be a tough one you don't want just some soft mushy gushy because usually the mom archetype on the show is already kind of boring because they usually don't do very well in the strategy so they at least need to be a tough person and a big personality to an extent and Nyeka seems like she has the potential to be that uh, on top of that she says that her hero is her dad. Her dad accomplished so much and overcame so many obstacles from childhood. Again, it's a very common theme th throughout this cast and the past two casts. They seem to be casting for um, start from the bottom, now I'm here type of stories, which I think is, eh, I feel like kind of loses its meaning after a while. I understand everybody has their own story, but it seems like these stories do kind of match up on their own. Uh, she wants to play like Sari, which again, it kind of fits her archetype perfectly i can understand exactly why she'd want to play like sari she wants to connect uh, and do so easily so again that social game she really wants to, to make those relationships and really play the game kind of like a janet i'm looking at to me my personal best comparison is janet you know her best way to win is just to be at the end and not get taken out when she should have right janet just simply had the wrong um idol nullifier advantage played against her at the wrong time but her path to the end was simply just being a very very nice person and going up against people who just weren't as good of people as she was and using those relationships on, on the jury to make people just generally want her to win the game despite her lack of gameplay and she thinks that she can win because she can accomplish anything that she set, sets her minds to and that she can influence others to make the decisions that serve her so overall i'd say nyeka is definitely someone who i'm rooting for i want her to do well and i think that this is good casting by cbs it shows a casting of diversity of thought and ideas and lifestyle not just diversity of your skin color and what you have in your pants or what you like to get from others in their pants it, to me it's just it's silly right orientation gender and race are not the most important diversity to me those two would be diversity of thought and also diversity of age to me those are the two most important and i think this is a great example of both of those but what do you think do you like neka do you not like her do you think she has a legit shot to win the game or is she more of just a character in the show let me know down below in the comments tomorrow i'm going to be talking about the paralympian on this season yes that's right the girl who's not only has one leg but is literally the best at having one leg almost in the entire world it's very very impressive and i'm gonna i'm gonna cover it tomorrow in tomorrow's video i'm so excited to, to get to that in the meantime like share subscribe do all that good stuff because it's free it's easy and it really helps the channel out if you haven't already joined the discord server it's free you can offer any video suggestions you want. You can talk to me. You can ask me any question. There's literally a section called Ask Spencer Questions. You can ask me any question you want. And on top of that, it's going to close at the start of the season to avoid big spoilers from happening you know, near like the, the, the merge and, and things like that. And so I would really implore you to get in now while you still can. As always, none of this happens without you guys. Without you guys, I'm sure we're guys being a weird microphone. So as always, thank you. And that's what I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.